Hi, so in my last video I talked about how awesome it was to have some pain-free time, how my steroid injection had worked and how I was having a really great time dancing and doing all the things that I can't do when I'm on crutches. So, as I probably said in that video, I don't remember, that didn't last, it was never going to last, it was always going to be like a 10 day kind of thing. And I got 12 days out of it, so that's cool. Um, but then, it was super hard coming back onto crutches. I thought I'd be able to cope with it better than I did, but I did struggle a bit, because when you can do everything normally, in quotes, um, you, you get used to being able to carry your own things and being able to do this and being able to dance and then all of a sudden I'm back to square one I'm in pain all the time and I can't do anything and that really it hit me hard it was it was it was hard and it's been a couple of weeks back on crutches now so I'm getting used to it again and I'm getting used to walking on crutches and doing the exercise that I do when I can't um dance and I can't do things uh weight bearing but it is hard and it has been it's been it's been different and it's been difficult but I'm I'm getting there and I'm feeling a bit more positive than I have been in the last few weeks um and part of the reason for that is because I had an appointment with my doctor yesterday and I was really lucky to get that because it wasn't meant to be until the 8th of April but they managed to bring it forward for me so I had an MRI last week and then this week I had the appointment and essentially what the MRI showed is that the cartilage in my hip joint is no longer doing its job it's a bit rubbish and so essentially what what my doctor has said is the only step forward now is to have a hip replacement which is is I have mixed opinions about this this is something that I've thought about and I've kind of wanted for years because that kind of seems to me like my hip has been giving me problems for eight years so give me a new one surely that makes sense but obviously i'm young and there's lots of steps that we have to go through before you know kind of just going into my hip and cutting out and giving me a new one um so that's 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 kind of the step forward um and it is kind of scary in the fact that it's a big operation and although I've had big operations before um, and it's it's a big step and obviously once you take the hip out you can't put it back in um, although why would I want to because it sucks so but what is difficult about that is that obviously due to the pandemic the NHS has been stretched to its limits and has not being able to perform surgeries as they would like to for a while so the waiting lists have got really backed up and it's going to be a long time before I can have that obviously I'm in constant pain I can't walk and it's already been seven months in constant pain other than that 12 days of pain relief I've been in constant pain for seven months and on crutches all of that time so to hear that the waiting list is super long and they don't even know how long um they they, they don't know how long it's going to be because at the moment then they're, they're not doing these operations they're not at full capacity yet and then obviously once they get to full capacity hundreds and hundreds and thousands and loads and loads of people are waiting for these operations and have been for a long time and it's it's a hard it's a hard thing because these waiting lists are going to be really long so my family and I are going to try and manage to see if we can pull the money together to maybe go privately um, because the difference in times between when I could have it privately and when I would probably be able to have it on the NHS is huge and because I'm taking this next big step in my life and starting a whole new chapter in September with going to musical theatre college which is something I've dreamed of doing for so many years I would really love to be on the road to recovery and the road to possibly restored full amazing health 
and maybe no longer hip problems. Obviously there's a chance they won't work and that I'll still have issues, but I would love to be on the step forward to that. So I'm gonna be scraping together as much money as I can. My family are gonna help out. I'm gonna be selling some theater memorabilia that I have. Um, so check out my Instagram, I'm going to be selling some of those, I'm going to be connecting it to a GoFundMe page where people can donate and kind of do it that way. I'm also going to be selling some of my clothes, some of my theatre merch, that sort of thing and that's all going to be over on my Instagram and I'll put the link to that and also to the GoFundMe page in my description box and I hope that as little as it is or whatever, even if you just want to get a really small piece of merch that I'm selling or whatever, any any amount that anyone can give me is going to really help me to take this next step forward in my life and finally after eight years of hip problems and a large proportion of that being in pain and being on crutches, finally we might be at the final hurdle and it might just be that little push that I've got to do to get there and to be rid of all these issues. Yeah, if you if you can spare anything, even just a couple of pounds, I'd really appreciate it. Um and yeah, check out the stuff I'm selling on my Instagram and yeah, that would that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Like, comment, subscribe, all the normal stuff and check out the links in the description. See you next time.